Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So um, you remember a couple days ago I was telling you that I was going to do some Etsy shares when they come in. Um, I knew that I had a couple coming in and so I want to go ahead and share those with you. One of them is Miss Claudia at Timeless Crochet for You. She makes these absolutely beautiful little flowers. So she's got little um, shabby clusters that I ordered. Uh, also, if you happen to go to her shop and she doesn't have anything available, keep checking back because she does run out of these very quickly. They're very popular. Um, I first found her through Miss Gale, of course, because Miss Gale is very infamous for her Etsy shares and I love it. Um, because you can find so many uh, great new shops and that's how I found uh, two of the shops that I am sharing today this one here which is like I said Miss Claudia uh, timeless crochet for you is the name of her shop and that is her shabby cluster mix and I really like this one it, it reminds me of like um, a traditional Christmas. So that's the shabby clusters. And I'm opening the bag from the bottom because when I opened the envelope, I kind of sliced the bottom of the bag. So if you order from her, be very careful when you open the envelope <laughs> and don't just kind of go crazy. Like I did. But that's okay because I did not damage any of the little clusters. I didn't damage any of the little flowers. I just damaged the bag. <laughs> um, and so I want to put these in something else, not this little tiny bag. But where I have my flowers, there's no room. <laughs> so I have my flowers in this little book that I've kind of like upcycled, if you will. And so I've got stickers and you know uh, die cuts and wood pieces and such like that but there's just there's they're all taken so I don't really have any room in there for that so I think I'm gonna I have a little jar like this that I have this color uh, flat back in and I think I can make another little jar like this and put her little flowers in there and I wonder if she does themes like for the different seasons because these all these all feel and seem very fall themed very autumn themed and so I'm wondering if she has different themed flowers because that would be really cool uh, let go oh no okay it didn't want to let go and can you imagine the work that goes into that little tiny flower as I throw it like that's a lot of work because that little flower right there that little flower right there is glued on top of that look that little flower and then there's a, a single sequin glued there and then there's two leaves glued on the back like that's a lot of work and then she does that like that is a lot of work. And so if you think about the work that goes into making these, oh yeah, that is, that's really cool. So anyway, I saw these and I just, I really wanted to support her and um, get a couple packs. So I got two packs of the little flowers and then I got one pack of the shabby clusters. And again, her name is Claudia and she is at Timeless Crochet for You. And I'll have all of the links to the different shops in the description. So there'll be two, or excuse me, there'll be three shops that um, like I made tangible purchases and I had to wait for them to get here. And then there's gonna be two shops where I got my digitals. Cause do you remember the other day or yesterday I was just like you know I need to go on the hunt for some digitals that match my color palette and so that's exactly what I did 
So this next shop, I got a couple pieces of fabric. I was actually on the hunt for the flea market, uh, something or another, that um, Miss Gail had posted on a couple of her videos not too long ago, but I couldn't find it. But I did find the shop that she had mentioned. There wasn't a link, but I did find the shop. And um, so I ended up finding this particular fabric, which is really, really cool. It's just a bunch of postage, letters, postcards, stuff like that. And I got two yards. And then there's this one here, which I thought was very dainty. I like the greens and blues in here. And this particular shop is called Buckaroo Blankets. And, um, and it's a new shop to me. I had never seen or heard that shop before until I went searching for that flea market fabric and I could not find it. But I did find that. So there's that. And then the last one that I want to share with you guys is where I get my uh, rice papers. Um, now, I do have to pull my rice papers back out because I've already recorded this video once and realized that it again split the video because I hit the space bar. Um, so, instead of making multiple videos, I just decided to start over. <laughs> and yeah show you guys again so this is the rice paper that i got and oh i forgot one and this is it's not rice paper but it's vellum and i had gotten a few sheets of that as well and i had already put it away before i realized i was like oh wow there's only 12 minutes into this video i feel like i've been talking for 45 and then I looked up at my computer and there was another video posted in my folder. And I was like, dog, no, but not again. So I just deleted them both and said, we'll start over. So that's where I get my rice paper from. And I really, really, really like getting my rice paper from her because she has really great prices. Um, and it's not like just one size fits all because there is a shop that I, uh, I found, oh, I want to say the Netherlands or Denmark or somewhere over there. And, um, and she's got a beautiful paper and I did order from her, but they were all the same price. Every one of them didn't matter the brand or anything. It was all the same price, which I thought was interesting, but um, these are some freebies that she had sent me. They are all from the same collection, which is Warm and Cozy by Jan Hatfield, or Jen Hatfield. And it just, it, it does, it makes you have that warm and cozy feeling, you know? I really like, and I like the thickness of this paper. Like, it's, it's really nice. So there's that. And then this one I got because of the project I have mentioned several times to you guys, but I haven't really told you what it was. Um, I think that this will go really nicely. So I'm going to do a really quick flip through through all of these because I've already done this once, <laughs> even though you haven't seen it yet. Um, but this one is called Shabby Rose and it's by Stamperia. And I don't know that there is a date on here. Yeah, I don't know that they've got the dates on there. It just says Stamperia Classic Collection since 1995. Um, so anyway, this is Shabby Rose. And this is absolutely beautiful paper. I might have to go back and buy another one of these. Now, one of these collections I did buy two of, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I love the thickness of this paper. It is absolutely perfect. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It is amazing. And it's very soft. Like to touch it is very soft. Look at that wallpaper type. Oh, so pretty. I 
And this is actually how I ended up touching the space bar because flipping over, uh, that's why I keep pausing for a half a second because I need to make sure that I don't touch that space bar again. Because I don't really have anywhere else to put my my keyboard. Right now it's, it's shoved up underneath one of my monitors because I have two monitors. I have one there and I have one there. And my keyboard is under that monitor. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So this one is called Shabby Rose, and I kept the box, so I'm going to put these back in the box again. <laughs> this one is called Forest, and I do have this paper pad, but I have the smaller one, and I wanted the larger one. And it might seem very, like, autumn-ish-esque, but to me, it feels more kind of fantasy I know it's realistic, but I have, like, in my head, there is an element of fantasy in real life, if you know what I mean. Like, wolves and owls and and butterflies and moths. So, like, they, they all are in, they're real things that are found often in the world of fantasy. Deer. So that's why I got this one because I really, really, really liked this collection. And so I grabbed another one. Um, and I really, really love the prices that she has on Stamperia paper. Um, like this, pa this paper pad was, um, I want to say it was like $10. Which I can't seem to find anywhere else because... Most of the Stamperia that I find, whether it's new or not, it's anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars. Like this one, I get this one is is a little bit more expensive. Even on her shop, this one was a little bit more expensive. I don't remember how much this one was exactly. Give me two seconds, and I can tell you. Uh, this one was eleven seventy five. Um, and that's, that's Stamperia. Um, yeah, so the forest was eleven seventy five too. So it was, it was eleven seventy five. And so, like I said, it's just, I have not seen prices that reasonable. Let me move out a little bit because I feel like I'm very far zoomed in. There we go. Now you guys can see my desk over here too. All right, we'll, we'll zoom it back in after we're done with the paper. But this one is called Pink Christmas. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but there seems to be Pink Christmas everywhere this year. And I don't know if I was just like living under a rock last year or in a cave or something, but I did not see it in the abundance that it seems to be this year. Um, and like I said, maybe it's just me. I have no idea. But like the design team that I'm on, she just came out with a collection of Pink Christmas. One of the digitals um, from the one of the Etsy shops that I found, um, she also has a collection of pink Christmas. I mean, and I think it's really cool because they're all different. I mean, obviously they can't all be the, be the same, you know, that whole copyright thing. But I think it's really cool that everyone is kind of like taking a different twist on it. And it's just, I don't know, I think it's really cool. I like pink, so I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, I got two of these because how many times have you like looked at a piece of paper and you're like, oh man, I really want to use that side. But, oh man, I really want to use that side too. So I got two packs to eliminate that problem. Um, sorry, I was looking at something. So I got two of those. And then this one, the last two that I got are... Um, yeah, let me move this out of the way. The last two that I got are um, Blue Fern Studio. So I've never had their paper before, 
so it was new to me. Uh, this one here is called Passages, and I really, really liked the blue in this one, and the, the blue and green, and that's why I got this one. That and um, Miss Gill had mentioned specifically, when you fold this, it doesn't crack, which I think is kind of cool, especially given how thick it is. Like, this is really thick paper. So I think that's really neat how it doesn't crack. So there's a lot of detail in here. I'm not going to go through every single one and show you all of the tiny detail. But like this page here, a lot of people would look at that and be like, I want to use all the cutouts. And then they would flip it over and be like, oh, I really want to use the back page. Prima is really good about doing that. But the thing with Prima that I really like is whenever you buy a pack of theirs, you get multiple sheets of the same paper. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. It is a little bit more expensive. Um, like, a Prima 12 by 12 pad is $23. And that's on sale. Um, but you'll get anywhere between two and four sheets of each paper. And the um, 4 by 6 and the 3 by 5 cards are the same. Or 3 by 4 cards. So this one is called Passages, and the designer on this one is, I have no idea, Michelle Sai, Sin, Lin, Michelle Lin. I'm just reading the little, I think. So that's Passages, and again, she's just got amazing prices. Um, now, I did not go through the link that... Um, Miss Gail shared for the Blue Fern Studios uh, because this place was cheaper. Uh, ASC Crafts is more um, more inexpensive, and if you're gonna spend a lot of money on supplies, and I don't mean artwork, I just mean supplies like paper pads and you know, rice paper and napkins and lace and even stuff like that. I would say, you know, if it's something that's manufactured like this, I would go with the cheaper supplier. I mean, that just seems like a no-brainer to me. But anyway, I already knew about this shop because of the fact that I get my rice paper from there. So, I was like, okay. And this one, again, it does have a lot of pinks and reds in it, but it has a lot of blues and greens in there, too. And that's why I really wanted to get this one. This one's called Jane's uh, Memoirs, and this one is um, designed by Jen Bishop. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I'm just being silly, <laughs> but I mean, I like supporting my, the Etsy shop owners, whether you are selling supplies or whether you're selling your artwork, whether it's tangible items or digital artwork, it's all the same to me in the sense of, I like to support other artists. And that's it. So, now that I've gone through all of that paper for a second time, <laughs> like I said, I will leave the shops in the description box. Um, this one, the rice paper and the paper paper, the scrapbook paper, is all ASC uh, crafts, craft supply. The fabric is buckaroo blankets and the little paper uh, flowers are um, a timeless crochet for you. Sorry, I had to think for a second. So, um, obviously I'm not used to doing the Etsy shares um, because I've been back for like 2.5 seconds. Oh, and Miss Crystal sent me a pin, which I thought was really cool. Um, she's the owner of ASC Supplies.
craft supplies. And it's got a stylus on the top. I didn't even realize that the first time I recorded this. <laughs> That's funny. So, remember, hi dog. Remember, sorry, my dog scared me. I just turned around and there she was. Remember how I um, told you that I was going to look for some digitals to try to correspond with the book that we were working on? Yeah, so I did that and um, I found a couple things. <laughs> And you're going to laugh at me, I know. But the first one that I found is from uh, My Porch Prince. And it is, um, I got a couple of her collections. I did get the, uh, the Pink Christmas. I didn't print any out because I'm not working on it right now. And so I didn't want to print it out right this second. So the first one that I want to show you is called Grandma's Attic. And uh, it is so pretty. I actually printed these on vellum. Like, how pretty is that? Um, there was a couple of them that didn't print right, but I'm still going to use them because they're beautiful. Like, I really, really love printing and working with vellum. And I know that there's a lot of pink in here, but if you go back and look at my at the lace that's in the journal, it's all pink. So this one also didn't print right, neither did that last one. But like I said, I'm still going to use them. So, so this one is um, uh, Grandma's Addict, and. Uh, this one is the Christmas that we didn't actually print anything from. And then this one here is, it's part of her shabby collection. I tried to look for an actual name, but it just said shabby journal pages, lines, and such like that. So it's like, okay, shabby it is. And I printed these on linen paper. And I thought that it would give it a really nice texture. So there's those, and I thought that they would work really, really well with the book that we're working on right now. So, bloop, bloop. there's that. Now, the one that was right under my nose, and y'all are probably going to laugh at me, is dun dun dun. It's Daisy Collins. That's why I'm like, yeah, y'all are probably going to laugh at me. Because I'm on her design team. I should know what her things are. And so I went searching through my my folder. Because I, I, I have like a whole folder. And it's got folders inside a folder. It, like, it's crazy. But anyway, um, this one here is, uh, let's do this one first. Because I only printed a couple of this one. This one's called Life of Bloom. And she's got a lot of beautiful, beautiful papers in uh, this particular collection. So I printed those out. I did resize them and I did print them full page uh, because they were, I believe they were printed um, or designed for a travel notebook. And this isn't, this journal isn't a travel notebook. And I do have permission to resize her stuff. So, um... Not everybody will let you do that because they just don't want you to. So I asked her a long time ago if I could resize her stuff. And she's like, yeah, go for it. I was like, okay, cool. So that's what I did. I resized it and printed it full page so I could use it in this journal. And then the second and the most abundant printed pieces that I have here is from Charming Fragments. And I will leave both the links to both of these ladies' shops in the description box. Um, this one here, I actually accidentally printed on paper, but my idea for this was um, to use the vellum, and it'll make sense as we go through the project. Uh, then there's this one here. Here, we'll do this way. Oh, you can see it.
again, I resized them and printed them full page. But I really liked the collage work on these. And also, by print, I actually printed two of these, so this one's just the same thing. Um, by printing them also on vellum, in I'm not sure if you guys know this, but Daisy uses very vibrant, bold colors. But this particular book isn't really full of vibrant, bold colors. So by printing them on vellum, I actually lightened up the tone of the colors drastically. So, where were we with our book? So like I said, I will leave the um, all the links uh, in the description box. Pardon me, I am drinking my, my fruity water. So I have carbonated water, but it is infused with um, strawberries and cucumbers. Um, all right, so let's see what we have here. So anyway, now that we're done with the business part, how have you guys been today? You been good? Mm. I'm gonna use this one. What have you been up to? How you been? This one is from Grandma's Attic. And I actually and probably use one of these that messed up. See, even if I just put that on top of that, like, do you see what that does? That is just really cool. That's why I love vellum so much. Because it just adds just a little bit. Alright, um... Let's see, where's my paper? That's the one I want. Right there. That one. And this is just printed on regular 20 pound notebook paper, or 20 pound copy paper. All right, so. Oh, uh, let's see here. I have a normal sized ruler that I've lost. I don't know what happened to it. But I'm going to rip this. Because all of the pages are ripped. You could also, instead of ripping them, because this is printed all the way to the edge, instead of ripping it, you could um, just distress it. And you could use um, anything from nail file to uh, if you have a Tim Holtz distress tool or scissors, like you could use the edge of scissors. Um, pretty much anything that is, you know, sharp or, you know, flat. Because distressing this would probably be easier than ripping it right now. But, because I'm ripping such a small piece off, and in order to do that effectively, what I have found is put the tiny part under the ruler, push on the paper under the ruler, and start small, and hope it doesn't move out from underneath the ruler. talk about the fact that I say so like a lot like that's a thing it's like so and what I think is funny is I think I have realized that I say so a lot in place of saying um because I want to avoid saying um 
but honestly is so really that much better. It's like so. <laughs> so. I don't know. It's like you got to fill the you got to fill the silence, man. And I'm just basically covering up the white from where I just ripped cuz it's already distressed. That's one thing I do like about this particular set is her work is distressed already. And, oh, I even have die cuts that I could probably use in all of this as well. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half. We're going to do the same thing we did yesterday, and we're just going to put it right down the crease of the page. Blink, blink. All right, mirror fabric deck, and I definitely want to use fabric tac on this. It would either be fabric tac or tape because it's copy paper, and that will warp very, very, very quickly. All right, I'm done with that. You know what's funny is I just looked out the window I was like, is my husband home already? And I just realized that it's like almost 4 o'clock. I'm like, well, that would make sense because I have already done this video. Well, I haven't done this part. I've just, I've done the show and tell and then realized that we were stopping and starting. And I was like, I am not doing this again. So <laughs> I decided to redo the video completely. So yep, yep, yep. So now I'm like so parched. I'm like, I need liquid. Because I feel like I've been talking for like the last four hours, but I haven't. It's all in my head. Oh, so speaking of in your head psychological things, remember I'm on this whole journey of Noom, right? And. I am actually down like another three pounds, so that is amazing. Um, I'm super excited because you can actually change your level in the sense of like how quickly you want to lose weight. And so I, at first, I am the type of person, I am all or nothing. Like that is just, that has always been my mentality. Um, I'm not very good at slow and steady wins the race. I am all or nothing. And yeah. So, um, it's kind of funny because they get you out of that mentality quick. Like they're like, get out of that mentality. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's really cool. I like that. I'm digging that. So anyway, um, I was like all the way as fast as I could go with it, right? And then I realized, because the more you do the program, the more like science you learn behind it. And you learn that, you know, your body is getting used to the fewer calories. So it's just like, oh my God, you're starving me. I need more food. So you, you constantly feel like you're hungry, even though you're not because your body's not used to the calorie change. So I didn't know that at first. And so I had talked to my coach and whatnot, and she was like, well, you can lower your calories. I was like, what? I can do that. So I slowed it down. I, like it went super down slow. And um, I started feeling way better. I'm just double checking and making sure I don't need actual, like, cause we'll do decoration later, but I wanna make sure I get all the background pieces on. Anyway, so, um, I was like, wait, you can do that? What? And she's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're going to have to do that. Now, see, I think that this matches really, really well with this, um, doily, but I'm not sure it matches with this. So we're going to have to do some finagling here because I want to use this here. I really want to use this here. I'm going to. Gonna do it. 
All right. Ow. <laughs> I just stabbed myself with the side of the ruler. Good job. And people worry about me with scissors. Nah, scissors, I'm fine. It's the dull objects that get me. It's like rulers. Yep. Oh, and hot glue. Every single time I will burn my fingers with hot glue. Never fails. Excuse you, go on there. On there. Alright. And one more. And one more. I guess I can leave my ink out because I'll probably be using it a lot because I don't have all of the pages all prepped up anymore and ready to go and inked and whatnot. All right, so excuse me, let me let me borrow this real quick. Okay. All right. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, I like that so much. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. So anyway, um, I realized that you could change the speed on everything and whatnot. So I slowed everything down and I was like, okay, instead of being quite so drastic we're gonna take things nice and slow and so then ironically like two days after I changed the speed because you get articles every day that like kind of help you and teach you and um, educate you on the different you know psychological process as for one and physical and and scientific and you know all kinds of stuff like that so it's really quite educating Anyway, so a couple days after I changed my speed on calorie intake, I get this article like, oh, your body is this, that, basically explaining everything as to why I feel the way I feel, which I thought was hilarious because it was like, really? Couldn't have given me this like, I don't know, three days ago? Because <laughs> I felt like I was like failing because I couldn't, I couldn't maintain the the such a low calorie without my body like freaking out on me and my coach was amazing though she was just like no you're doing great you know very supportive very amazing and uh anyway so i was at the the low speed for um i want to say probably a week and then I bumped it back up because, well, I'm still that all or nothing person. <laughs> I can't help it. And so I bumped it back up. And... Haha. Uh, -ha. Voila. I'm going to come off. Please come off nice and slow. This is one of the reasons I like using wet glue, but that's okay because we, we, can, we can fix that. Alright, so anyway, um, I bumped the speed all back up, right? And I've been on the quick speed again, like the rabbit pace, for about three days now, and in three days I've lost like four pounds. I was like, what is this craziness? But something else that I've realized is the world has a misconception with weight loss. It really does. Like we have this idyllic notion in our head that weight loss is just like, choom, just straight down. 
and in reality it's not it's more like a very curvy twisty windy roller coaster goes up and down and backwards and sideways and left ways and right ways and up ways and down ways but if you look at the overall you know position of where you're going then that's what matters I don't know like I said it's an amazing program and I think you guys should definitely check into it um, if you're looking at you know getting a healthier aspect of life whether you think you need to lose weight or not that kind of is irrelevant um, it's more about being healthy I mean I think that it is advertised as a weight loss program but I did not join the program to be a weight loss program I joined the program to be healthy and I am healthy I feel healthy uh, weight loss to me is an added bonus and maybe that's just me I don't know but oh that is so cool <laughs> oh, let me slow that down a little bit Let go. It didn't want to let go. It kept like doing the air thing instead of the glue thing. All right, so what do we got? We got 20 minutes left. Oh, we did really good with the whole redo of the Etsy shares. The first time, I'm pretty sure it took me 45 minutes to get through the Etsy shares. So I think that's a good thing that I had to redo it because it got me to do it better all right so I want to do one of these I think and we're just going to rip this because it's gonna get covered okay and we're gonna leave that Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. All right. So let's see if I can't make this completely crooked. And this is vellum, so I find that tape does work the best. Um, now, if something that Jennifer taught me a long time ago Genevieve Designs is if you put a little bit of glue stick on your tape it will give you just a tiny bit of wiggle room so you can pick it up if you need to and put it back down so I think that's really cool so Got a little blue glue dot down there. That is so cool. I love that. Now, I also got this really cool washi tape that I think I want to put throughout the book. Um, this is one of them. I've got a few of them, but this is just one of them. Isn't that cool? I don't know that I'm going to use this one specifically, but we'll get to the decoration part. It shall be fun and rewarding. Woohoo! All right, let's see. What do we want to put on this side? I want to grab some of the papers. Throw them on the floor, apparently. Alright. Um, that's pretty. 
Oh wait, we need to fold this one back. And we can actually put this other piece on this other side so it's matchy matchy. So I did get some feedback from you guys about the videos. Um, it seems like uh, the majority of the people like the longer videos. So I think we're going to leave them longer for a little while. Um, but I really like the, the hour long videos as well because I can, I feel like I can get more done. And um, I also don't particularly want to try to figure out how to edit. Uh, I don't do the, the let's speed up and like zoom through everything because I like talking to you guys. So, and it's really the only time I have to talk to you guys, you know, so. All right. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but I am going to put the other piece of this over here. Um, let's see. I think I want to save as much of this as I can, actually. That's a really nice chunk of that. There we go. You know, I think I might want to read this. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think it's bad. This particular story is called Fortune's Children. <coughs> I got a hair in my throat. All right, I think that will work. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so let's put my pen back in my glue. Y'all should remind me to put my pen back in my glue. Because I always forget. I had to look at which side was the right side. There they go. It's so one thing about this tape is it is very sticky. Like, it is very sticky. And if you do the whole glue stick thing, you can really use whatever glue stick you want. Because the adhesive is coming from the tape after the glue dries. Alright. Anyway, that's just a trick that I learned way back when from Miss Genevieve Designs when I used to make scrapbooks and mini albums. All right. Oh, that is so, so cool. All right, let's find a, a thing thing. Ooh, this one's cool. This one's got pink in there too. Oh, I like that. That's neat. About this one. Actually, I actually like that one better. All right, let's do this one. It's our time out. 50 minutes. I don't know. We're making good headway. I think. I'm going to fold it in half and stick it in the crease like we've been doing. And then I can... So I probably need to wiggle around my pen and my glue because I forgot to put my pen in my glue. Because I'm silly. Like that. Did I tell you guys that's uh, where I got that pen from? I think I did. I got it from Melissa. Um, 
Melissa Frank. She does have a YouTube channel. Um, I haven't been on YouTube. Uh, I'm catching up on YouTube about that. And I did catch a couple of her videos. Um, one of them is when she showed these pens. Um, one of them was a journal. So I did, I did keep up a little bit, a little bit. But I feel pretty bad because there are so many people that, you know, I used to watch and try to keep up with. And then I realized it is impossible to keep up with everybody, especially like, think about this. If you have 45 people on YouTube that you watch and all 45 of those people post a video every single day, that is a lot of videos. It's a lot of YouTube time. But that's okay because I like YouTube. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm okay with that. Um, I just have to catch up, you know. I have to figure out oh, the last time I did this, they were already glued down. I was like, why is it not staying out? Because <laughs> it's not glued down yet. All right. And I think this would be really pretty with that lace. Where is my lace? Come here, lace. What I do with you? Uh, this particular lace I do not have on the shop yet. Basically, I wanted to finish this book first and see what I have left. Um, oh my gosh, yes. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna do that. Let's glue down our page here. And then we're gonna glue down the other page here. on my fingers. Surprise. Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I got all quiet on you guys. I'm sorry. I was concentrating on where I was putting my glue because that's important. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to close the book and I'm going to pull the page so it doesn't glue all wonky. Now, I will say after doing this adventure, an altered book is very difficult. There's like, there's a lot of work in it. I mean, it is different work than a traditional junk journal. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of work in it. Like, it's, 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 it's a lot of work. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. This thing is, there's, al there's almost more work in it. I, I wouldn't say that it's more. I would say that it's just different. Um, but it is, it is crazy. Like for one, I can normally do junk journals and fairly quickly. I've been working on this book for months. Absolutely crazy. Crazy, I tell you. I can tell you that we are getting towards the end of the, uh, the pages though. And I know that because of how I'm like gluing these pages down. When I glued this side, it's all nice and thick. 
with, you know, page galore, but when I glue this side, it is not, because there's not very many pages left. Like, we've got one, two, three, four, we have five more spreads to do. That's insane. You know what? I think I'm going to have to get one of those things that Miss Gail has. It's a uh, book weight and she's got them on her favorite things, but it just, it looks very handy. And I think I'm going to have to get one because I'm constantly doing this to hold the page down. All right. So I am going to have this overlap just a little bit. So it comes off the pocket like that. And then this will probably be the last thing that we do today because that way it'll give me some time for this lace to dry and I can just leave the book open and let it dry. Let me grab something plastic. Oddly enough, I cannot find something plastic, which is funny because I have bags forever right beside me. I'm just gonna grab one. It's one of my inventory bags. Like when people buy stuff, I put them in these pretty little bags. And this is one of them. Now we're gonna chop that off. And then do the other side. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. So I recently bought a bottle of Fabri-Tac on Amazon um, because I wanted the, because I still have my other bottle of Fabri-Tac, the one, the other one that I've all decorated up, but this part broke and I've bought like four different bottles from Amazon and they all indicate that they have the twisty top, but every single time I get them home and get that delivered, it's the push top. It's not the twisty top. So I think I'm going to have to just break down and order it from like Michael's or something. Um, that's actually where I used to get it is Michael's when I was in Washington. But since we've been here, um, I don't go to my Michael's very often because it's right beside the, the North Charleston Mall. And there was an incident there um, a couple years ago with my daughter and myself at the mall. And so we don't, I don't go anywhere near the mall anymore. I know it's an anxiety thing, but that is one of those triggers I cannot get over. Like I just, I can't do it. So if you don't know, um, a couple years ago in 2019, um, no, was it 19 or was it 18? No, I think it was 19 actually. Um, there was a shooting at the mall and my, my oldest daughter, my 19 year old and myself were there and it was seven stores away from where we were. Uh, we didn't get hurt. Um, I don't know if anyone else got hurt, honestly. Uh, but it was February of 2019, I believe. And the mall is called uh, North, North Woods Shopping Mall. So if you want to look that up, you can. It's on the news. Um, I'm pretty sure it made national news, but I have no idea. 
all I know is I don't go anywhere near the mall. And Michael's is right beside the mall. So I don't go to Michael's. That happened a month after we got here. So I was like, yep, nope, mm -mm, not doing it. All right, so anyway, this page is very cool looking. I love this page. I think this page turned out so, so cool. So I'm gonna leave this open, and I, I actually really like this page too. Oh my gosh, this is turning out so amazing. I am loving this book. Oh my gosh, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this open and let it dry. I'm gonna pin my glue, thanks for reminding me. I'm going to leave this open and let it dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Oh, perfect timing, just over an hour. And thank you guys so much for joining me in this process. It's been a lot of fun. And I also will leave the description, or in the description box, I will leave the, um, the shop owner's links for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.